All right, let's talk about reflections. Reflections are another of the transformations that are going to move figures around in the coordinate plane. Um, this one, unlike translations, does involve a potentially a change in orientation. We might call it a mirror image. We're going to sort of reflect it over that mirror. And then it's not a change in size and it's not a change in shape. The easiest way to look at it is um, based on some rules. I mean, it's not the easiest way, but it is one of the ways that you can look at it. So if I'm going to reflect across this Y axis here, it's going to be, here's my Y axis, of course. I have to think, it's going to be equidistant from one side to the other if I reflect across it. So you see how this one is at one, two, three to the left, so negative three and two. This one would be from this line three the other way. So one, two, three. So my y prime. And you may remember from the translations video that the one that we already the figure we already have is called the pre-image, and the one we're gonna make is called the image. The points on the pre-image are just the letters, and the points on the image are the primes. So for this one, I'm just gonna count one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So that's where W prime is located. And for X, it's actually the same. It's neither left nor right of the Y axis, so we don't have to move it. X prime and X are the same in this case. So it just looks like this. Pretty easy stuff. Now, what happens if it gets a little bit uh, more complex? that's when it's going to be helpful for us to have a few rules depending on what we're going to be asked to reflect over. If we're asked to reflect over a specific line, things will change and we'll have to do it visually, really. But if we're reflecting over the x-axis, which is right here, you'll notice to reflect over this, we're actually going to change in the y, much like how when we were reflecting over the y-axis, we moved on the x. Well, if I have a point here, I need to reflect it over this value. It's going to be here. So I'm moving it up and down. So the thing that will change is the coordinate opposite of the name of the axis, I guess you could say. So for the x-axis, when I start out with my pre-image at x and y, my change will be, like I said, it will be the opposite of the y value. So you say negative y. Now again, if the value was down here first, Going negative doesn't mean you keep going down. It means it's the opposite of. So if this is negative, or this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and negative 1, it works like this. Negative, negative 1, which is, of course, positive 1. So your point would be 4 and 1. Say that's that. So that's how we move from here to here. Just kind of FYI there. Now, for the y-axis, it's very similar to the x. Except, instead of moving the y-value, since the x isn't in a name, we're going to move the x. So it goes from x to negative x. And the y stays the same. which is what we did here, remember? This was, we didn't move up or down, we moved left to right because the, the way that it was set up. There are a couple more. If you have this diagonal here, and again, if you've seen any of my stuff before, remember I can't draw uh, straight lines at all. So that is the y equals x line. It's called that because this is one over one, so you go up one over one. So if I start here, it's up one over one, up one over one. So it's just the y equals x line. That one, so if I'm going to go here, it's going to change things kind of significantly. It's going to actually flip my x values with my y values. Now what does that mean? So the y value here is negative one, two, three, and up two, so it's negative three, two. If I'm gonna reflect across the y equals x, I need to change those two values around. So since the negative three is in the front, my eraser thing is not doing great, but I'm trying to make it so you can actually see what I'm doing. 
So this just flips around, so it becomes two, negative three. You just change the order. So this point would be here and here, and one, two, three. And if you look at it, it kind of does look like it's about the same distance away. This one being at negative five and one, two, three, four, that point, the it would flip over to be four and negative five. So it goes one, two, three, four, and down one, two, three, four, five. And this one being at zero and one, two, three, four, five. That's, yeah, zero and five would flip and be five and zero, so here. See, that's how you set that up. Now, the final one that we might ever have to run across, unfortunately, if I change this a little bit, I can actually erase things faster. Nope, not really. Um, but I don't want to eliminate those rules over there either. So the other one, option that we might have since we did y over x is what happens if we have a line that goes down like this, should have done that a lot thinner than I did. Just like that. This is the y equals negative x line. Because again, down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, right? That sort of thing. So it's y equals negative x. For that one, all we're going to do is x, y, and then we're going to bring that over. And we're going to still switch the order, but we're also going to change the sign. So for this one, if we're flipping it over this line, it's at, like we said, negative 3 and 2. So we're going to switch the order to make it 2, 3. And we're going to change the sign. This becomes plus. This becomes negative 2. So it goes negative 1, 2, and then up from here. 1, 2, 3. So see how it's down here and now it's up here? It's a normal reflection. All right, let's look at some samples. You wrote down all of those rules. If you didn't, um, make sure you go back and do that. So now we're going to go over the y-axis because you'll need them and I'm not going to keep them up over here is what I'm saying. Um, so the rule here, since we're going over the y-axis, of course, we're not going to change the y-value. We're going to change the x. So our rule is to switch the x-value to the opposite. In this case, it's the negative, but not always. So this point is at one, two, three, four, so it needs to be at one, two, three, four, h prime. And this one's actually kind of simple because of their relationship. g prime is going to be here, and j prime is going to be here. See? Just like that. Next. In this one, we're actually flipping it across a specific vertical line. This is a little bit more complicated, but uh, the rules don't necessarily apply. So I need to look at where x is equal to negative 2. So I find the x-axis and find negative 2 right here. And then I want to make a line that's perpendicular to that axis, which is to say you can't draw a line over top of the axis. It has to be up and down, right? But if I was doing y equals something, I would make it across, just so I can make a line. Don't retread the lines is what I'm saying. So for this one, all I'm going to do is see how far away they are from this line and then make sure it reflects back over. So this one is 1, 2, 3, so I need to go 1, 2, 3. So right here. Uh-oh. My pen had a little moment there. This one is one to the left, so I need to go one to the right. This would be h prime. This would be 
g prime. And i is actually on the line, so I don't have to move it. So there. Here's my poorly conceived image, just like that. Right. Okay, let's do one more that has a rule and then you can practice some on your own. So this is y equals negative x. So the rules here for y equals negative x is we're gonna flip the values or change them so x, y, and we're going to make them negative. So y goes here, x goes here, negative, negative. So for this point, this is point negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So c is at negative 5, and it's at plus 2, 1, 2. So I'm going to change those around. 2 becomes negative. 5 moves into the back and it becomes positive. So I'm just going to go straight to negative 2 and go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's where I'm going to make C prime. B is located at negative 1 and 0. So I'm going to flip those around. 0 doesn't have a sign on it, so don't have to do anything there. So just 0 and plus 1, so I don't move left or right, but I do go up 1, so that makes B prime. A is currently at 0 because it's on the axis and down 1, 2, 3. And it's going to flip around. This negative becomes positive, remember? Just like so 3 is here. 1, 2, 3, and 0. So that's where A prime is located. Finally, D's value is at negative 5, negative 1. So I not only need to switch the orders, they're also both positive. So I'm going to go left or right one up one, two, three, four, five, and make D prime. So let's check. There you go. So that's it. That's reflection. Find your original pre-image apply rules if it makes sense to apply rules and then come up with your image value.